Hey, what's going on guys? Dante Walker here. And if you are holding HBAR, uh, there is a huge explosion, a huge alert that you definitely wanna make sure that you pay attention to. This is not clickbait or anything like this. This is definitely, definitely, definitely something, again, if you are holding HBAR, something that you want to make sure that you pay attention to. And if you guys don't know uh, what I like to do on this channel, is I like to help you guys uh, with your crypto trading and become more profitable when it comes to like crypto trading. I'm someone who has been around here since the 2019 slash uh, 2020 bull run and uh, literally have had thousands of students and millions of dollars uh, worth of results uh, with my brand. And uh, just to show you here, literally, this is uh, literally every single day. Absolutely crushing. Look, this is a 15% uh, just posted today. Uh, if I scroll up here just a little bit here, 188, as you can see there, uh, 34, 27. Um, just scrolling up, uh, this is like literally in the last couple of days, 47, et cetera, et cetera. You get the point, absolutely crushing it. So I'm just uh, someone who has like been around doing it at a high level for a long time. And if you're gonna be watching someone on YouTube, you wanna make sure that uh, that they are that kind of person as well, right? So now with that being said, let's actually jump into HBAR and uh, what is this explosion, this explosive move that we wanna make sure that we watch out for. So one thing that I really like to use, um, if you look at the chart here, you can see this thing on a chart that looks like a snake. This is called the Bollinger Bands. And this is just lets us know uh, about volatility uh, in the charts. And when I say volatility, that just means that the price is gonna go up really fast or the price is gonna go down really fast, right? And um, look, when we see the Bollinger Bands getting really, really tight, you see the Bollinger Bands squeeze. Uh, you can see that's a volatile move to the downside. Look, Bollinger Bands get really, really tight we have a volatile move. Now it can be to the upside or to the downside. The bands don't necessarily let you know, but you can see there in the, in, in a couple days, that was an explosive move, right? Explosive move, right? So Bollinger Bands get tight. That's what you really want to pay attention to. And right now the Bollinger Bands are super, super tight. You can see here, as you can see here, uh, the Bollinger Bands are getting really, really tight here uh, in the charts. Uh, and this is definitely something, again, that you want to pay attention to. Now, you may ask yourself, is this explosion more likely going to be to the upside or to the downside. So one thing we have to always consider when we're going to be uh, looking at any altcoin chart is we have to consider what's happening with the broader crypto market, AKA uh, Bitcoin, and also the broader broader macro market. Because it doesn't really matter uh, what you see, if you see anything bullish uh, in, the, in any altcoin charts uh, that you're looking at, when Bitcoin corrects, when the price of Bitcoin goes down, all coins tend to go down much harder and fall harder. And when the price of Bitcoin uh, you know, pumps and goes up, then, um, and then all coins have room to run. But Bitcoin controls, Bitcoin is the key and Bitcoin controls what's actually uh, gonna happen in the crypto market to an extremely, extremely large extent. So we have to make sure that we always pay attention to what's happening with Bitcoin. And right now, to be <clears throat> to be quite honest with you, at least on the short term, uh, uh, Bitcoin is not looking like 100% the best. Uh, looks like we're about to have a negative uh, Kumo breakout on the uh, on the four hour here. And if you guys don't know what that is, that's just basically when you, when you break down outside through this cloud. And uh, what we're looking at on the screen here, this is called the Ichimoku cloud. And um, and uh, one thing, well, two, two things that you guys want to know here. So when you see this uh, this negative TK cross here on the daily, this is just a long term negative, super bearish move. And again, we have to consider that uh, what's happening on the daily, right? These aren't 15 minute candles or 30 minute candles or even four hour candles. These are daily time frame candles. So these are significant longer term moves. So as we can see here, like the negative TK cross, very bearish for a very long time. Negative TK cross, very bearish and negative for a very long time. Negative TK cross, very negative and bearish for a negative for a very long time. Look, positive TK cross, we pumped up, but we just printed this uh, a few days ago uh, on the higher time frames, and um, and uh, even on the a lower time frame, a lower time frame than that on the four hour, uh, it looks like we're about to have a uh, you know a possible uh, negative breakout. So again. So again, if this happens in Bitcoins, then we're most likely going to see a sell-off in altcoins. Now, in the short term, uh, if if we want to see like Bitcoin get bullish uh, in the short term, I would like us to see us like you know right now we're at 26. We need to break above this 27.5k uh, level and hold it. But really, on the daily, you can see that it already happened, and uh, we couldn't really break above this level of uh, resistance really on the daily. So uh, in my opinion, this explosive move that's about to happen with H bar will cover both cases. The the bullish case and the bearish case and which one I think will most likely happen. You guys can probably tell from what I just said, uh, but let's just cover both cases just in case, because this is, again, is an explosive move that we want to cover. So when we're looking for explosive moves to the upside, we want to look at, you know, potential levels of resistance. So we obviously have the 200 as a level of resistance for H bar. So we'll put that as a level of resistance for H bar. If we get that explosive move to the upside also as well, also as well for H bar, we have another level of resistance here at about the 60, 
uh, 61 cents level here. So you can see those two levels of resistance. And let me actually see if I can get something on the higher time frame, like the weekly, um, or if I can actually uh, look at the Bollinger Bands on a daily and get you know get a level right there. So I mean, really to the upside, realistically here. If we get an explosive move to the upside, I would say we need to like really focus first on breaking through those two levels of resistance, which is really, um, you know, really at 0 0.58 and 0 0.61, like in the short term, really in the next like couple weeks or so, which is a 20% move uh, to the upside, which is pretty good. And I would say like if you want to like really go crazy uh, to the upside, uh, we have one here on the weekly that we can like realistically put at seven cents. But that's that's just like quite far up. So um, again, I would really focus on uh, these two. But on the downside, uh, we do have a level here on the downside here. That is going to be at around this uh, four or five cents level here, and then uh, if we actually take a look, let's look at the daily and try to find uh, try to find some more levels of support for this. Let's actually look at the two week and see what we see on the two week. Um, so we do have a possible level of resistance on the two week here. I don't really use the two week that much, uh, but we have a pos possible level of support here on the two week as well at about the zero point three eight. So if we get to this, so again, in my opinion, just because of what's actually happening in Bitcoin, again, you have to make sure that you pay attention to what's happening in the macro markets. So obviously, if you think about the macro markets right now as well, we are in a general bear trend. If you look at what's happening with the Fed interest rates, if you look at what's happening with the de-dollarization, if you look at what's happening uh, with inflation, all these uh, different things. Uh, we are in a macro bear trend, you know, banks crashing, all this kind of crazy stuff, right? Uh, so you have to consider that, right? So you take all that in consideration, and then you see also as well, Bitcoin uh, has printed some longer term bear stuff, you know, in the charts. Um, in my opinion, we're more likely to explode to the downside for right now. Uh, but this, uh, if you're interested in buying this pro project, uh, this, uh, you know, uh, has better buying opportunities for me at the 0 0.45 or the 0 0.38 level. Uh, if I was looking to get into this, I would wait for this to play out. But this is something that you want to be aware of because you just don't want to see the price like dump or like really pump and then you just take it offhand. And for me, I just look at things objectively. I make money if things go up. I make money if things go down. I just like kind of assess the situation and then, you know, uh, make you know, moves based off that, right? So that's how we want to be. We want to be emotionless, and that's how we win in this game. It's not wanting things to happen. We just look at the reality, the facts, and the data, and then we respond to the markets appropriately, and then we make the best decisions based off that. But if you guys actually got value from that, make sure you subscribe. Now, I have my uh, like my private group, and I'm actually coming out with something like really, really cool for you guys who want to absolutely crush it. Like I said, we've literally been here uh, since the 2019 slash 2020 bull run, have thousands of students, uh, uh, millions of dollars uh, in results with their DWC brand. And I just absolutely crushing, like I said, every every single day, like literally just uh, just crushing it. I can just keep scrolling up here. You see crushing it, crushing it, crushing it. Uh, and um, and I have something uh, new product coming for you guys. So make sure you subscribe uh, if you want to be a part of that, uh, because in my opinion, uh, these bear markets, not only are we surviving, but we are thriving. If you know uh, what to do, if you know what to look for, uh, the bear market, not only, you know, uh, you can survive, but it presents a special opportunity. And right now, honestly, I'm doing better. Uh, in the bear market than um, in the bull market, or at least equally as good, right? So um, so that's pretty much it for this video. Make sure you subscribe because I have something, a cool a product coming out for you guys. And uh, that's it. Subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.